look at all these rocks. If only I had someone to talk about them with. Whoa, guys! Look at all these rocks! Come on, you gotta see this! Check this out! Dude, wow, like look at look at the layers. I can see that there are little grains in here, little bitty grains, and then we have bigger grains. The, the crystal size on this is really small, it's hard to see. This could only be an igneous rock. It could only be a metamorphic rock or a sedimentary rock. I'm gonna call this greenstone. <laughs> That's what it is, yeah. <laughs> it's actually greenstone. Gray wacky sandstone, say that three times fast. Red shirt, a piece of serpentinite was formed from a deep ocean or just a, an underwater landslide. This igneous rock formed underwater and is actually typically associated with rocks from the mantle. So what we need to do right now is we need to take a step back and put this down in our handy dandy, our handy dandy, our handy dandy, in our handy dandy field book. And the mighty forces of nature slowly carving things out. I don't care about that. That's water. Water's, water's boring. I want to talk about the rocks. 